These have been the two most popular chalks in snooker for the past number of years. But which is better? Well, today we find out. This is Break From Life. After a question in a previous video, I decided to have a look at both of these chalks and see which one was better. So I got myself these two blocks of chalk and decided to have a look. If you're really serious about playing snooker though, why not go to our channel page and try our review of Tiam Chalk or have a look at some of our other great videos there designed to help with your snooker. And if you're on there, why not subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Now let's see what I thought about how these two blocks of chalk look and feel and test that. Now we've got triangle and master's chalk here. This is triangle chalk, the chalk I used for a number of years. It says king of them all. It's made by Tweenton from Chicago in America and um, it's got a very sort of wallish thick but soft chalk feel to it. It definitely won't shake out of the block. Now this is Master's Chalk, a chalk I had never tried really before and it's also made by Tweenton from Chicago and it's clearly obviously American. Now this has got a lot more powdery feel to it and it feels like if you did shake it then you'd get quite a bit of chalk all over you but you know from touching both of these chalk they seem to drip it all over the place no matter what you do so it's not there's not a lot of difference i'm going to say the winner of this is triangle chalk because you can probably get less of it all over you so the price how much can you buy them for well i already had triangle chalk so i looked on ebay for how much it would be and i saw that it was actually 195 for four which i thought was a great buy but um you couldn't buy one individual one weirdly it was 175 for one elk master chalk so i thought the winner is definitely triangle chalk because it's a lot cheaper so the next thing i wanted to look at is what does it feel like to play in so i put feeling here so how does it feel so what i thought i'd do is i'd take two cues QA and QB. QA, I decided to put an elastic band on to remember which one it was, and I'd use triangle chalk for this one. I wiped all the chalk off it I had on before. Did the same with QB, which I'll be using master's chalk for. After having no chalk on it whatsoever, it did take quite a while to put the triangle chalk on. So this, I don't know, may be a little bit of an issue with, um, you know, I'd, I'd say it may go on less easily than master's chalk, but there wasn't a lot in it. This was um, my first few comical goes at trying to pop the colours with a cue I'd never used before and it did involve quite a few misses as well as one or two surprisingly good reactions from the cue ball that I was impressed at the amount it came back. However I finally got used to the cue and started potting some balls and it felt good. I got a good reaction from the chalk. No real issues here other than the fact that I wasn't really used to the cue and I, I don't think I was under overdoing anything more than I'd expect to. So um, even though I didn't pop the pink here I still felt it felt okay. And no real no real issues with it. Now I tried Master's Chalk and this went on a little tiny bit more easily. Obviously when you've got no chalk on your cue it's going to take quite a while to chalk it up and this went on a little tiny bit quicker than the triangle did which might be a slight advantage and um, yeah it didn't really seem to be any different when it was on there. So I thought when I got it on there I had a go. I was already used to the sort of cue so I got straight into it. and. Um, probably found it felt a very very small fraction better than my the triangle chalk I tried. Now I used to use triangle chalk all the time until I got Tiam chalk and if you want to see the video where I um, give it a three month review and talk about the new 2.0 version that I've just received instantly and that's a video coming on that soon so if you want to see that video it's in the card now. Now it, I'd definitely say Master's Chalk was a winner. It went on the queue easier, and I would have said was a minute fraction better. Now, for reaction, I repeated the test I used with Tiam Chalk 
that I'd done before. I basically played three separate screw shots and the be best two I put together like this. I lined them up from exactly the same place, found the best two. This was the best two screw shots, so they look very similar. And I've overlaid one on top of the other. Now, one I'm playing the black with is master short. One I'm playing the red with is triangle. Now, this is very close to being identical. The white wasn't quite in the same position, but I can't see any difference in that whatsoever. So there was no winner there because they were really identical. So I came up with another new test for testing the grip that um, the chalk will add to the Q-tip and that was just how much spin you could put on the ball or how wide on the ball you could strike. Now I've got this uh, spin ball here so as you can see it's got black lines on it so I decided to put them across woods and I would always stand at a position where I couldn't quite see if you see that small, uh, the big white circle, I'd stand so I couldn't, I could just see the edge of it, but no more. So I was always in the same place, and then I'd decide, then I would play the shot, and I'd hit the first line on the left hand side, and see how far to the right I'd get my cue, so I could see how much grip it had. So I started off with triangle chalk, and went for the first line. And, as you can see, obviously we're going to hit it with no problem, because this is just a bit more than halfway across the ball. So I went for the second line, no problem. Third line, that spot in the middle there, hit it easily. And I was a bit surprised because I didn't think it would get the fourth line, but in fact, yep, yeah, got it easily. And so then of course I've gone for the fifth line, a bit wider and to see what would happen. And I was really expecting a miscue here and that's exactly what I got. So I thought I'd bring it back a bit because it didn't get four, so I'd go four and a half, the gap in between, see if I could hit there with my cue. And in fact, I was surprised I could actually hit it. So I thought possibly that meant triangle will win this. So I tried with master's chalk. So I started off in the middle because I knew it would hit there. So we're starting off at line three, did it easily, went line four, again did it easily so i thought then well i'd just show it is masters because i've got to do that and so then i'm going to go for line five to see if i can hit it clean and i thought maybe it will because if it's a bit more expensive chalk will it hit an extra and no so no it didn't hit an extra line would it hit four and a half and get the exact same result as with the previous test yes of course it would so in terms of grip you can get on the cue ball there's no difference again and it's a draw again so lastly and i think most importantly i came with a test to test longevity and the great thing about this is i think there'll be a clear difference so i started with triangle chalk and i played set the balls up to play normalish screw shots just to come back like I'm doing there and see how many I could do without chalking my cue. Now obviously they're not it's not my cue again so I will miss a few of these shots but it's a, just a test of how many of these sort of shots can you play before you get a miss cue. And I was expecting one any time now and not to get through 15. So here we go. I'm up to 13 now so that's 13 14 15 and it just keeps going so this is triangle chalk and i'm at this stage thinking well this is this is ridiculous how many can it do so we're up to 17 now and remember this is a chalk i used for a number of years and if you'd asked me about it when i was using it can you play about 20 consecutive screw shots in a row without getting a miscue, I'd have said no. But here we are now on the 20th shot and it's it's slowing down. I could tell at this stage I wasn't getting the reaction I was on earlier shots, but I was still screwing it back. And I was just waiting for the inevitable to happen and when I get a miscue like that. So that's triangle chalk. It did really well. So this is a go at Masters. But I thought 20 
yeah, 20 consecutive screw shots with no miscue. I thought that's that's really good. So Master's Chalk is a chalk I've never used before, really. And, you know, a lot of people said, yeah, you should be giving it a go because it's very fractionally better. But I never tried it. TM Chalk came out and we made a video about that and I did a few tests on that. Now, that... Um, is in the card at the top now the first time i ever tried that chalk and i made a video about it so if you want to see that look in the card now but as you can see with this master's chalk it just kept going and it was ridiculous it was ridiculous how many consecutive screw shots i could play without a miscue we are up to 22 now and it was still going easy it hadn't i could tell with triangle chalk it slowed down and this hadn't started doing this i even checked the tip and it looked like i just chalked it and it was still going there was a little bit of discoloration at this stage i could tell so up to 30 balls potted it's still going so that's 31 and you know when i looked at these tips at the end you could tell I'd played a few shots with a triangle one and I didn't have much chalk on it. This this looked like I'd played less shots even though I played more and that was in fact a miscue right there. So the winner undoubtedly is Masters. And I think that overall Masters has to be the fractional winner. It's a little bit more money, hardly anything in compared to TM Chalk, but there we go. Now, I've been using TM Chalk for a while now, and I think it's fantastic. And if you're thinking of trying it, then why not look at this video in the top here to see what I think of it and how you can stop getting kicks. Also, we've got this impossible snooker shots made easy, and we're making a lot of videos to help you play snooker and know more about the game. So why not subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that? And remember, don't just watch, play. See you later.